Hello, good evening. Welcome everyone. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how's it going? Good evening. Good evening, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I think people is having trouble with traffic maybe or actually with work right with work maybe okay. the traffic I'm sorry maybe the traffic yes the the traffic. yes you're right mm -hmm. okay so let's start by introducing the class while people is joining, all right? Are joining, I'm sorry. People are joining. having trouble with my eyes today. Okay, our agenda today. We have our feedback and also we'll have some discussion and some questions to discuss. Then we will see the passive voice with the present perfect tense. How do we form it? How do we use it? And when we don't use the passive voice. Mm. Mm. We have a conversation, but maybe we are going to study the conversation and uh, doing the role plays and the comprehension activity between today and tomorrow because we will uh, we will speaking or talking about the safety measurements or measures, safety measures at a production plant, and. Uh, this is when we produce something in the manufacturing process with machinery, or maybe we need to uh, do some manual labor or making any kind of um, product that requires hazardous materials or some things like that. Maybe outdoors also or indoors, right? In a production plant. Not only a production plan, because in an office we can find some hazards too, right? Okay. Mm, the comprehension activity and the conversation role play will be between today and tomorrow. Then we have some opinions, questions, and answers. We want to talk about the passive voice in the present perfect tense, all right? Present perfect passive voice. This is your class number 22. And this is a tense that usually becomes mm, confusing sometimes because uh, we always forget the past participle after the be participle. So we want to practice that uh, to avoid any mistake, right? With the passive voice using the present perfect tense. Our Objective will be that uh, you will be able to provide safety measures to control risks at the production plant. Uh, 
as I, as I was saying, not only at the production plant because we don't work in production plants, maybe. Maybe some of you work in offices, some of you work in a different environment. So we need to check different environments and then we want to uh, give just an opinion. We want to watch some videos and also we want to read uh, some articles in order to describe this safety measures and safety uh, procedures, okay? Remember that when we talk about control risk, um, controlling the risk, we need to identify what is danger, what is a warning, what is caution, what is a notice, what are safety instructions. Right now, we go to the safety instructions because yesterday we were talking about these terms, right? The danger, the hazard, the harm, hurt, and all these kind of words that uh, maybe can get confused in some time and some sentences, right? When we want to express um, a aspects related to controlling risks. So let's start. I think we can start by mm, this point before going there. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to open up a board. Oh, I'm having trouble with my eyes tonight. Okay, here we are. Um, I think everybody can participate. So everybody, everybody can go to the board. So come to the front of the board, get your uh, marker, everybody, please. I'm going to do a dictation, okay? I'm going to do a dictation. I'm not a dictator, but I am going to dictate some words to see if you remember, okay? To see if you remember the words that we studied yesterday, okay? So I want to see everybody coming to the board. A ver, quiero ver, por lo menos pónganme un puntito ahí que están ahí ustedes. Vamos a hacer un pequeño dictado, vamos. Good, Nancy, thank you, Lore. Uh -huh. A ver todos, por favor, everybody, please. Thank you, Edwin. There you are, Carlos. Good. Okay, the first word, the first word. Hazard, hazard, hazard. Yes, Jose Miguel, very good. Hazard, hazard. Mm -hmm. Okay, the word is hazard, okay? Hazard, good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will clear all drawings. Pongamos ahí atención. Next word. Risk. Risk. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I said risk. Mm -hmm. 
Risk. Okay, thank you very much. I will clear all drawings. And there we go with damage. Damage. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. I will clear all drawings. Irreversible damage. Irreversible damage. Good, Nancy. Yes, it, was, it, it is with the letter I at the beginning. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. A ver, ¿quién más está escribiendo? Osman. Carlos Ernesto. Yo estaba, yo estaba escribiendo, teacher, pero desde el teléfono se hace muy difícil. <ríe> ah, no importa, con el lapicito. Uh -huh. Ok. Intente, usted intente. La idea es que eh, practiquemos, ok, no problem, no importa que se vaya encima de sus compañeros, no importa, all right, mm -hmm. ok, there we go with the next one, assessing risks, assessing risks, risk, Mm -hmm. Assessing risks. Uh -huh. Okay, Wilbur. Mm -hmm. Is it okay? The correct one is as well where deed, okay? Assessing risks with the letter S because it's plural, right? It's plural, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Hazardous materials. Hazardous materials. There you are. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sin la letra T, without the letter T at the end. Like Rafael did over here. Uh -huh. Ah, Jose Miguel. Thank you, I'm sorry. Good, Lorena, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, next word. No, no lo puse yo. Quería dar a entender que estoy de acuerdo con cómo lo puse. Oh, all right, all right. I thought, yeah, because I read that it was Rafael who wrote it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Lo mismo le pasó a Tesla. <laughs> le robaron su idea. <laughs> That's true. Okay. Ajá, ajá, ajá. All right, mm -hmm. vamos a ver entonces, the next one, poison, poison, poison. There you are, Lori, yes, good, mm -hmm. very good. Okay, next, safety measures, safety measures. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Great. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Okay, now next one, risk assessment, risk assessment. Very good, Rafael, yes, Edwin. All right, very good, Nancy. You uh, heard in plural, all right, it's good. Risk assessment, good. Mm -hmm. And this one, I don't remember who was it. Who wrote this one? I don't know if it was Wilbur, right? <clears throat> All right, next word. Likelihood. Likelihood. Good. Mm, no, no, no. Just like Wilbur did. There you are, Lori. Very good, Glenda. It's a new word for me. Yes, it was a new word yesterday too. Uh, the this meaning? Uh, the meaning is possibility no, or agree. probability. Mm -hmm. The possibility, the likelihood. <laughs> very nice, very nice, Glenda. Yes, likelihood. Uh huh. Great, thank you very much. Thank you for participating, guys. We are going to go to the next part. Okay, uh, because we want to study the passive voice. Okay, we want to study the passive voice. Even though first we want to, I mean, we have enough time to go and do another one, right? Let's do another writing, another writing exercise. Okay, this is the next writing exercise. It doesn't matter the tense that you are going to use. It doesn't matter if you write this in negative. It doesn't matter if you write a positive or questions, okay? You can use any subject, any uh, part of, these, of the sentence could be by these words and you may add some other words to fulfill or to give a concept if you want, all right? So I will give you three, three, um, we could say terms, okay? We're not going to say words because they are a compound nouns too. So I will give you three concepts or terms and you are going to make a sentence, okay? You are going to make a sentence. So the first one, the first one, Let me to see if it is possible to get it from here. One second. Charmeleid. Okay, I will give you three terms. Yeah, terms is the word. And you can use them as you wish. You have to write a sentence. Don't find it out in a different way. So I'll go and give you this. Hmm. Hmm. Almost there. Ah, here it is. Okay, I will give this in a different way because I prefer this in a different way, but I think it's going to be better using the, the board.
Okay, there we go. As I said, I will give you three terms and you are going to write, uh, write a sentence. As I said, it doesn't matter the tense. It doesn't matter um, the, um, allow me to, it doesn't matter if you add some more words. Okay, there you are. There you have the three terms. Write one sentence where you include these three terms. Those three terms in each uh, sentence. No, no, actually it's only one sentence, okay? okay? It's one sentence. You can add any word, you can do it in any um, tense, you can do it negative, affirmative, or question if you want. But you have to include these three terms, all right? Let's try. Don't be shy, guys. Come on. De alguna forma, eh, al aparecer las demás oraciones, se incluyó la mía y no lo pude terminar. Oh. Lo, mismo, lo mismo me pasó a mí. You sure? Okay, but you can go by selecting. Use the select uh, option that you have in the menu. A ver, seleccionen, así donde dice select en el menú. Y luego se ponen ahí. Okay. Uh -huh. eh, ¿De quién era esta? Que está acá. We check the tech pack before beginning the new product My development. Teacher. Okay. Uh, falta stages. Solo ha incluido dos. Yes. Okay. Póngale por ahí stages. Before a launching a new product development is important to determine the stages of the process. Great, very good. Uh -huh. No me fijé el nombre, I'm sorry. Nancy, thank you, Nancy. Yes, good. The new product development have some stages, the brainstorm is before. Uh, making, making the prototype. Mm -hmm. Después de una preposición o before, va un ING, ¿ok? Wilber logró seleccionar. 
Yo no lo puedo seleccionar para cambiar. Ah, lo cambió. Yo no pude. No Yo pude. tengo la opción de seleccionar. Bueno, no la veo. En el menú de, de donde, donde está en Annotate, ahí a la par de text, donde están escribiendo, ahí está una crucita que dice Select. No, aquí dice ratón. Ratón, no sé si será. Uh -huh. mm, no, a ustedes le hicieron jarana cuando compraron ese, ese device. <risa> no, oh, es. Yes, I'm for that too, but I don't like Sí. Don't you have it? Oh, okay, okay. Let's see. Maybe it's because, maybe because I have to do something. Let me check. Oh, it says whiteboard, whiteboard. Uh, the remote. Mm -mm. Okay, annotate. Yeah, where, where you've got the pens. Ok. Pero si me la dictan. A ver, dictamela, Lore. La mía era esa, Ticha, que solo había que cambiarle el making. Ah, ok. Ok, este. All right, good. Uh -huh. Ok, ¿qué pasó con los demás jóvenes? Estamos aprendiendo a redactar oraciones. Vamos al siguiente, vamos al siguiente. Y vamos al siguiente, vamos al siguiente, siguiente, siguiente. I said next. Bye. Aquí va el siguiente. Next. Oh, it says you cannot minimize, but I'm not minimizing. What's going on? Ah, the white. Okay, here we go. Number two. Okay, there you are, guys. Me rindo, ya no sé qué más. Ya no me acuerdo cómo hacía el mío. ¿Cómo te I'm sorry. Don't give up. Don't give up. <laughs> A ver, customers, research, and after. ¿Mm? Pasó de nuevo. Pasó. Es que cuando le dan enter, se va. A ver. The company has to. A ver, dícteme. Y yo le voy a escribir. A eh, si ah, he estado todavía formulándolas. Ok. Ah, has to conduct. A ver, Salvador, aquí lo necesitamos. Here we need your examples. Rosa, también participando. Fátima, bienvenida a participar. Vamos, Nancy.
<risa> Siempre se me, se me corta cuando, creo que es cuando se mueven los cuadritos en la pantalla. <risa> y yo creo que es cuando le da con la barra espaciadora a veces. Ajá. Al darle la barra, se va. After research, we must test the product with customers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. It has it makes sense. Um what about yours, Wilber? Carlos Ernesto, you may participate too. Glenda, your sentence. Okay, vamos a ver entonces. Thank you very much for participating, guys. Uh, let's go back to the class. Ok, vamos a ir a la plataforma. En la plataforma yo les posteé una actividad. Ok, no sé si ya la encontraron, está cabal debajo de la 4.1, ok, de la, eh, del primer video, 4.0 creo que ha de ser, bien, voy a compartir ahorita. Les puse ahí un link para que vayan a ver una noticia, ok, Though, uh, that's, um, some news. Uh, and this is real, okay? It's a real case and it's a fatal accident. It's a fatal accident. And um, we're in a company that uh, makes or assemble these uh, UFS ship, ships for the, for the Navy of the USS, okay? So there was an accident there, so Please follow the questions after watching the video, okay? Look. Acá les puse la dirección de el video. Ustedes van, miran esa noticia. Y luego de ver el video, responden estas preguntas. There are only five. Who was injured or killed? What did it happen? When did it happen? Where did it happen? And what has been done about it? Okay. Así que nos vamos a ir al breakout room para hacer eso, ¿sí? Solo déjenme pasar la lista y nos vamos al breakout room. Mientras yo estoy pasando lista, pueden empezar a ver su video. Okay, guys.
please turn your camera on. And when I call your name, you say present. Ana Loreno, Lorena Lovato Orellana. Present teacher. Okay. Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martinez. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Alberto Dominguez Martinez. Present. Right. Uh, Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Carlos Eduardo Torres Durán. Present. Okay, thank you. Uh, Cristina Edith Ramos Ríos. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present teacher. Okay, Eulice Torres Torres. Fátima Noemi Umaña Castro. Present. Okay. Glenda Josefina Toledo Leiva. Present. Okay, Jose Salvador eh, Bernal Quintanilla. I'm here. Great. Osman Atilio Serrano. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Iset Sanchez Castro. I said Karen was there, right? Nancy Margarita Morán Morán. Present. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you, Karen, too. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Present teacher. Raúl Ernesto González. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores. Present. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present. Ok. José Miguel Torres Hernández. Present. Ok. La idea de ver esta noticia es que, eh, si ustedes se fijan, todas las preguntas que les he hecho es en tiempo pasado. Cosas que comenzaron en el pasado y terminaron en el pasado, ¿verdad? Eso es lo que se cuenta en una noticia. Pero a veces se cuenta esa historia traída hacia el presente. Es cuando usamos el tiempo presente. Perfecto. Eh, para dar una noticia, lo importante es el hecho que ocurrió, ¿verdad? El hecho que ocurrió. Y es cuando usamos la voz pasiva. La voz pasiva puede ser en diferentes tiempos verbales. Ahí en la noticia ustedes van a ver que se usa la voz pasiva en el presente, en el pasado y en el presente perfecto. Así que vamos a escuchar esta noticia y vamos a contestar estas preguntas en tiempo pasado. ¿Ok? Bien, vamos a ver entonces. Todos eh, tienen acceso, ¿verdad? Al video. Yes. Ok, thank you. Yes. Ok. Please join your rooms.
Hello. Are you watching the video? Yes, teacher. All right, continue. Hello, teacher. I don't have the link of the video. It's on the platform. Ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to go to the discussion label. All right. Mm -hmm. Discussion. Mm -hmm. Let me see. In the manual. No. It's on the discussion label. Do you see that in the menu at the top or uh, above the course and all the videos and homework? It's, uh, it shows discussion as a label. I um, yes, mm -hmm. I see it. Discussion. Mm -hmm. And now mm -hmm. you have to click on all the topics, all the topics. Yes, I see a lot of topics. Okay, the one at the top of the list. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It says video activity. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No, um, let me share the screen because I don't know. Uh, no, I... you haven't, you haven't, uh, click on todos los temas. Yes, I have. Yes. So I click here. No, 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 it's not there. Uh, click on todos los temas again. No, it doesn't display what it. Okay, there, where it says todas las discusiones. Oh, yes, I see. And lesson four. Okay. The video activity. Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. There you have the link. Yes. Okay, there you are. All right, thank you. Okay, great, continue. Y como que tiene el desacronizado en YouTube porque los subtítulos van muy atrás. El desactivo. Sí. Mm, no. O oh, hay B. Es que van bien atrasados, man. Se confunde. Pero miremos las preguntas antes de ver el video, creo yo.
¿Y dónde están las preguntas? Dame la página para buscar el libro. Es que como les dije, estaba cenando, no pude. 4.0 es la, el, 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 el video ahí. Dale cero, teacher. Hello? Es que... <risa> Ok, eh, the activity. Uh, you can find it in a discussion. Yes. Or was in your not killed. Making this more tragic, that supervisor had been with the company for nearly four decades. Janu Her has been following the story since it broke. It breaks my heart. Barry Fernandez has worked in shipbuilding for four decades, and news like this brings overwhelming sadness to their tight-knit industry. Uh, my heart goes out to, to, to all of them. I just, uh, I, I, I hate when I hear something like this. As Barry and others filed out of the gates, calling their shift for the day, one of their own colleagues unfortunately won. Hello, class. I don't see you are discussing the questions. Try discussing the questions and then you give your own answer uh, to reply the, the post, right? Okay, teacher. Uh, I repeated the video. Uh, force. Force uh, again. Oh, okay. Me too, because it's very fast. It's a difficult understanding. Yes. yes, so that's why you have to comment with your partner, because your partner may be understood one part and you didn't, right? So that's the idea. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. But I don't understand what did it happen. I just understand he fell when he was just working, but it doesn't say he 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 distracted or he was um, I don't know, he saw something and he don't saw the, the tank, I don't know. So that is the part I don't understand too much. The what is that someone fell into a tank, right? Sorry? The what will be uh, that someone or the, the supervisor uh, a, fell in a tank, fell in a tank, right? So that's the what. Okay, but I, when I asked the question, who was injured or killed? Well, I just put, uh, the construction supervisor fell into a tank and he died. <laughs> oh, okay. So it could be also there was an accident, right? There was an accident in the. Oh the... yes. Uh huh. Okay, that's the what. There was an accident in a uh, um, building, ship building. Uh -huh, the Newport News shipbuilding. Uh -huh. At 
It is at or in? At uh, in this case, because it is a company, I think it is better you say at. At. Mm -hmm. And you say the name of the company, right? Uh, or the division. Newport. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> what is the name of the Newport News Shipbuilding? Newport is the city. Newport is oh. the city. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, around a port, right? It's around a port uh, in the sea. And uh, shipbuilding is a company that uh, builds ships. All oh, right. Well, yeah. can I say that uh, there was an accident at yes. a shipbuilding or without a shipbuilding? Just that. At a shipbuilding, right? Our shipbuilding okay. company. Mm -hmm. Okay. At shipbuilding company. Right. Ay, me asustó. No lo sería. Creo que es esto. Es la única fecha. Yes, uh, right below the videos of, of the 4.0, where it says video activity, real news of a fatal accident. Okay. Teacher, mm -hmm. we we was uh, seeing the video, but uh, the notice mm -hmm. uh, didn't say don't say it, I don't know uh, the the date of the exactly. accident. At the um, end of the video, says uh, the date of the another accident. Yes, but uh, also when means uh, what time, not exactly time, of, or another uh, situation was happening at the time that this thing happened. For example, when did it happen? When they were in an inspection of something, right? That's an activity that they were doing. So that's the uh, time, right? I, I, so I, it could be uh, in a different uh, perception, I think. Uh -huh. It's not the time, it's not the month or the date. Which yeah. action he's doing? Yes. Mm -hmm. What action is happening? Mm -hmm. mm. I remember. Eso me acuerdo que estaba solo menciona que estaba haciendo el trabajo. Was work at the Newport. Okay, when he building. was when he was doing his job, work. and then you say where? Mm -hmm. His okay. supervision. So, I'm sorry. His supervision. Uh, I'll say again. Uh, his supervision job or something like that. Got it. Hello, Glenda. How's it going? Yes, yes. Me too. Watching. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Hello, Fatima. How is it going? Miss Fatima, did you watch the video? <coughs> okay, continue. Uh, hello, Fatima. Did you watch the video? I'm not able to hear you. He died when he was at work. Mm. Well, I guess. No me fijé en la fecha. Creo que al final estaba. Ah, the, the date. The um, date, the accident, um, right? Yeah. yeah. To be honest, I don't know. <laughs> I, <laughs> I remember that December. Yes, and December was the first one. Yeah, the first, the first accident, yeah. Yes, the um, first accident. Is the... all this? I don't know. Let me let me hear. I will play again. Creo que es la palabra. Shipbuilding. Shipbuilding. Aunque no sé cómo se pronuncia eso. Shipbuilding. Shipbuilding. Me parece que es un astillero. Shipbuilding. Construcción de barcos. Uh -huh. O como, conoce, como se conoce. Eh, así era. Yo no sabía de esa palabra astillero. Yo quería trabajar en un astillero cuando salí de la carrera. Pero como en El Salvador no existe eso. <risa> Iba a contestar. <risa> ok. The last. What has been done about you? Bien. What has been what done, has about been it? done about it? Write the write the the murder, not the man. <laughs> pray to this. Pray for the supervisor. <laughs> Close the. He was company. putting into a box. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's si no no le. Veámoslo de nuevo. in the deadly accident at the region's largest private employer. A construction supervisor died on the job at Newport News Shipbuilding. The company says the man fell into a tank on the USS George Washington, killing him. Making this more tragic, that supervisor had tank. been with the company for nearly four decades. Janu Her has been following the story since it broke.
Okay, guys, please hit the enter in the reply button. I have only three, uh, four, four answers. Answers. Let me to see this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Linda said, who was injured or killed? The construction supervisor, yes. Mm -hmm. What did it happen? The company says the men fell into a tank on the USS George Washington. That uh, happened to kill this man. This is kind of sad, right? This is really a sad story. When did it happen? The incident occurred on December 13th. Um, do you agree, guys? We are not sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. But do you the have only date? Okay. Do you have any other date, guys? You can provide. Or, or for example, any. A, any activity or action that happened or uh, that happened at the time that these happened. Maybe they were doing something. So that's when, okay, that's when. Mm -hmm. Where did it happen? The accident occurred in the US as George Washington. Okay, what has been done about it? OSHA opens investigation. Uh, did you investigate what does OSHA mean? O-S-H-A? I didn't. Uh, so we have to look it up. Let's say Jose Miguel says the construction supervisor. Yes. Mm -hmm. The man fell. Mm -hmm. He died when he was. When he was. Uh, work at Newport News Shipbuilding. Okay. Uh, the accident occurred on the USS George Washington at Newport, right? Mm -hmm. This is a Navy a product producer. What has been done about, about it? Yeah, opens investigation. Even though we could say has opened, right? Has opened because it, it, is, it isn't closed at uh, the time they are giving the news, right? So they could say that too. In the present tense, as they are, as they were, oops, as they were asking. To new. Mm -hmm. The construction supervisor was killed. The supervisor fell. Hey, very good. Uh huh. It was on Monday with a capital letter. The accident was in the shipbuilding. Mm -hmm. Okay. Was I think it uh, this one? I uh, occurred. It's better. Occurred or happened uh, instead of was, and that's because of the meaning of it because that's like an state or something like that. The rescuers have been working to get the body, but they, uh, at the time of the news, um, they, they um, hadn't found the body, right? Actually it was, they knew where the body was, but they couldn't uh, retrieve it, right? Construction supervisor, mm-hmm. Yes, unfortunately, he died. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Under investigation. All right. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, people. So now we know that we may watch the news, right? We can practice watching the news. Uh, you will see that usually the news are given 
using the present perfect tense and also the past simple tense. But, but in any of those cases, any of the cases, uh, they will be using the passive voice to express what is more, more important. Uh, because sometimes the doer is not so important than the action, right? It's more important the action when we talk uh, using the passive voice, okay? So the doer becomes in the second uh, layer, right? So let's go and check the passive voice, passive voice. Remember that the passive voice is compound with the, uh, <clears throat> with the be verb in any of the tenses. For example, for the present, it will be in the present tense. Uh, for the... Um, for the past, it will be in the past, right? Sometimes we use the passive voice without saying who did the action or who the doer is, because sometimes it's not so important as the action is. So allow me to show you how in the present ten, present perfect tense, the passive voice is a, a form, okay? A ver, ¿quién recuerda cómo armamos eh, la voz pasiva? Who remembers? ¿Y para qué la usamos? What do we use the passive voice for? When we want to express... or emphasize that the action is what is important to be said, okay? So we need to practice the past participle because it's a, an important part, okay? This is a, an essential part to build the a passive voice for the present perfect tense. Allow me just one second. I will remove the pin. So the passive voice is formed by have or has, plus the past participle be form, okay? That it is been, been, plus the past participle. So we use have or has according to the subject. Then we add been because that's the participle form of the verb be. And then we use the verb free that it is the main verb of the sentence, okay? When you want to express an action being more important than the doer, or the doer is not so important, then you use in past participle with these two auxiliaries, okay? The have or has, then the been. So let's go and check how this works. Let's read this. The new production team have produced 2 million units per week, okay? The first one is the active voice, okay? Active voice. In the active voice, the doer is important. And we have the subject is the person who does the action or perform the action. It doesn't matter the tense, right? It doesn't matter the tense. In this case, we are using the present perfect. And then we have the direct object. The direct object is the one that receives the action of the verb, okay? The direct object receives the action of the verb. So the new production team have produced 2 million units per week. Okay, when I want to form the passive 
voice because it's important the 2 million units per week instead of the new production 10, then I change the order. And the order is I, yeah, I change the direct object to the beginning of the sentence and it becomes in a new subject. Even though this is the direct object and grammatically it becomes in a new subject, right? It becomes as object. So we say 2 million units per week, uh, then to, uh, to form the present perfect passive voice, I use have or has according to the subject, okay, the conjugation, then the be participle plus the verb three, that it is the main verb of the sentence. Verb, verb three is the third column of your um, verb lists, okay? So that's why we call this verb three. And the verb three is the past participle form. So we construct or we form the past, I'm sorry, the present perfect, a passive voice using have or has, depending on the subject, plus be participle, plus the past participle of the main verb. Then it's up to you or up to the speaker if you add the author, okay? If you add the author, maybe you are giving some credits to the person who is performing the action. But now this is not the subject anymore. It becomes an indirect object too, because um, it's, not, uh, it's not the subject because it changed it. It changed it. The new subject is that one that was the direct object, remember. So we use by, and I um, wrote this in the red color because you can add it or you can't, okay? It's up to you. So I could also say 2 million units per week have been produced. That's it. But if we want to give the credits to the author, then we are going to say by the new production team. In this case, the new production team seems important in the sentence. So the best way I think will be the active voice. But if we want to transform this into the passive voice, this is the way. Okay. Si queremos transformar de la voz activa en donde lo más importante de la oración es quien realiza la acción y lo queremos cambiar haciendo ver más importante la acción que quien lo hizo, entonces usamos la voz pasiva, ¿ok? De la activa pasamos a la pasiva, ¿ok? No siempre se puede pasar a la voz pasiva. Si no tenemos un verbo que tenga un objeto directo, definitivamente no lo podemos pasar, ¿ok? No podemos pasarlo. Por ejemplo, el verbo bostezar. Usted no puede bostezar a alguien, ¿verdad? No, o bostezar algo. No, bosteza un bostezo, pero un bostezo mm, was done no tiene sentido. O sea, no se puede pasar a una voz activa, a una voz pasiva. Solo puedo decir que yo bostezo, ¿verdad? O tú bostezas pero no bostezas al perro, ¿verdad? no bostezas a la computadora, no se puede, que es sin un objeto directo. Bien, vamos a ver entonces, nos vamos a ir a hacer unos pequeños ejercicios. ¿Hay alguna pregunta hasta este momento de cómo lo vamos a convertir en voz pasiva? Bye. Entonces nos okay. vamos, por el momento vamos bien, bye. Entonces les voy a pasar un link ahorita y vamos a transformar las oraciones. Son 10 oraciones en este ejercicio que están en voz activa. They are in the active voice, so we have to rewrite them in the passive voice. Remember, present perfect tense, passive voice, 
needs the B in the past participle verb form, okay? Entonces, ahorita se los paso por acá. All right, please, everybody click on it. Click on the link. And let's go to complete this. But I need to hear you guys that you are doing it. So please comment every sentence you are doing. For example, the first one. Who wants to read the example? Which link? Which? The example. Mm, what's the link? Didn't I send it? Ah, se lo envié directo a alguien. A ver, quién fue el último que me escribí. Oh, oh, oh. oh okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Thank you very much. Solo a Salvador se lo mandé. <laughs> okay, ahí está, todos. Are we okay there? Are you there yet? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, Kiri has paid the bill. ¿Cómo sería la passive voice? The passive voice for that active one. Es el ejemplo, only the example. Can you read it, please? A ver, me lo puede leer, Glenda. Can you read the example? Yes, teacher. Sorry. Mm -hmm. um, about. Number Active one, passive voice on or, or solo or only passive voice. No, no, go uh, to the bottom of the page and you will find an exercise. Okay, Carrie has paid the bill. Yes, uh huh. The bill has been paid by Carrie. Thank you very much. Okay, mm -hmm. now let's do number two. Okay, everybody, please. Trying to solve number two. Mm -hmm. A hamburger has have been eaten by me. Okay, good. Has been. Remember that it changes and according to the subject, all the conjugations, right? The conjugation of the verb have. So a hamburger has, right? Got it, guys? So, so. Okay, continue with the other one. Maybe we're going to understand doing it, okay? So, a hamburger. A hamburger. Has been eaten by me. Yes. Five miners have been cycling by us. Five miles. Mm -hmm. I'll be cycling. Mm -hmm. by us. The All right. The question has been opened. Yes. Um, I don't know. Five miles have been cycled by us. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. The book have been not open by them. The pills have been not sent by you. By you. Mm -hmm. This issue. Issue. Number two, teacher. I'm sorry. Yes, number two. Do you have number two? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. 
and uh, the first I have eaten a hamburger. Yes, that's so, the active voice. Now the passive? A hamburger has been eaten by you. By me. By me, by me. Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. Now to number three. Yes. Um, what, what, what is the structure when the passive, the active boy is a question? Ah, you have to start with the have or has, depending on the subject, right? Then so it's the same. It's the same, but you have to write uh, have been or has been, and then the object, and then the the I, example in the number nine the verb mm -hmm. has she found him mm -hmm. in the exercise nine uh, okay uh yeah and this one we have to write the the subject is he right no yes. she she no no he because him is the object uh, in the active mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he becomes the subject so we have to say has he been has he been phoned by her I've been him no 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 in this case we have to write been after he ah okay mm -hmm. so how has he been phoned Mm -hmm. uh, Found by her. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit. Uh, the pronouns change in all the sentences. Oh. Yes, because you have to put the object pronouns. Okay. The object pronouns are, are totally different. For example, for I is me, right? For okay. you is you. For he will be him. And for her will be her, right? Uh, for she will be her. And for we will be us, 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 us. And okay. for they will be them. Them, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. Mm -hmm. be. Mm -hmm. Not just by us. Check. So la tres ya 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 estuvo. Okay, can you say it? La tres, ya, mm -hmm. ya la dije. You can, number you can four. say it. You can say the number three. Ah, okay. Uh, I don't know it. Correct. Mm -hmm. uh, we have cycled five miles. Five miles have been cycled by me, by we. By us, by us. By us. Mm -hmm. oh. Uh, number four mm -hmm. uh, is correct. Um, I have opened the present. The present has been by me. Uh, the present has been opened by me. I uh, have, yeah, have. Mm -hmm. Present. Mm -hmm. Have been opened by me. Yes. Okay. Thank you.
Are we done yet? I have sent the sentences, but, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. Let's try it. Mm -hmm. The number five, uh, they have not read the book. Uh, the book has not has not read by them. Mm -hmm. Correct, has uh, not, right? Mm -hmm. The number six, you have not sent the parcel. Mm -hmm. uh, the parcel has not been sent by you. Correct. Okay. Uh, we have not agreed to this issue. Uh, this issue has not been agreed by us. Correct. Mm -hmm. They have not caught the thief. Um, the thief has have not caught by them. Okay, that's caught. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, has she found him? And the answer says, has be she found him? Uh, no. Um, maybe I made a mistake saying that uh, you have to write, I mean, you have to place has been and then the subject. No, you have to write has as the auxiliary of the question, mm -hmm. right? And then the subject and then been. And then the... Uh, uh, has she been? The verb. <laughs> yes, has he. As he, because the object ah. pronoun is him. So he, uh, so that's the direct object. So you have to change the order, right? Mm -hmm. Sure. Tell me. And the number five, mm -hmm. why is us in not uh, see if if the subject is they? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, and the number five. Uh huh. Eh, dijeron has or how? Number five. Yes, because the book. The book becomes the book becomes the subject in the new sentence. So the book has ah, okay. not. Mm -hmm. Book is it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is is the book has not hasn't? You can use a contraction if you'd like. It's not a problem. You can use a contraction like the book hasn't. It's good. Hasn't read. Hasn't been. Hasn't been read. Hasn't, hasn't uh, been read. And read by they. By them. Mm -hmm. But by you them. have, uh, yes, but you have to write the complete uh, uh, words, not with a contraction in this exer exercise, because with that contraction, we'll get wrong, okay? Se lo va a dar malo si le pone la contracción. Mejor póngaselo entero. Okay, how? Has not. Has not been. Uh -huh. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Picture in some in some sentence I write with the construct contractions and y se lo dio bien. yes. Oh, okay, oh. good. Eh, quizás a mí me lo dio así porque yo quizás usé una tecla diferente. Oh, Maybe. Yeah. Ahorita, ahorita lo voy a probar ya, porque siempre yo hago en la tilde y me da siempre el mismo problema. Yeah. Okay, oh. but thank you for letting me know. Now I realize that the mistake was mine, was my bad. Thank you. Okay, uh, how's it going guys? How's it going? I got three sentences wrong. Because I confuse the the subject as with they and we have when when well, but I put let me see mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. they I put us and 
we, I put them. So oh. I confused. <laughs> okay, yeah, because of the object pronouns, right? Yes. No, actually, for the you wrote us. Uh, so yeah. Because mm -hmm. I confused the the subject. Yes, and let's try not to say with eh, okay? It's us, us. Because if we say with eh, we are saying a different word, okay? Yeah, okay. and it's not a good word. I mean, it is. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh, so we've got to be careful it, it, not saying eh, right? I'm not going to say the letter S with the eh, because it sounds kind of weird there. <laughs> so we have to say oh. Oh, us, right? Oh, uh, like up, up, us is the same a uh, position of your tongue and your mouth. Okay. Did you finish, guys? But you can correct it if you want. You can correct it and redo the exercise. So then you can get uh, everything correct. Okay. And now we go to another exercise, right? Uh, we want just to identify, we, we want just to identify if, if this one's, bueno, lo voy a presentar en mi formulario para no estar con, con problema, aunque no le demos calificación, ¿ok? Vamos a ir, bien. En mi formulario, quedaría así. Y ustedes me dicen... Si sí, la oración que ven ahí es active or it is passive voice. So let's identify this. She has written a letter. Passive or active voice? Good boy. Active. 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 Okay, active. Now, what about the next one? Active. 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 Okay, next one. Sorry. Active. Okay. What about the next one? I think. Okay. And two. All right. What about the next ones? Passive. 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 Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Next one. Passive. 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 All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Passive voice. Passive voice or active voice? Passive. 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 Okay. Next one. Passive. 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 All right. Passive. passive. And the okay. next one too. Is it passive? Yeah. Passive. Okay. What about the next one? Passive voice. Passive voice. Okay, then tell me. What is it? Crops. Crops. Cultivos. Excuse me? Cultivos. Oh, thank you. All right. Okay, so now I just want you to see the parts of the sentences because it's really important for us to identify uh, the subject, the verb, the past participle because it's the main verb in the sentence. And then we have a direct object, right? So please, Rafael, read the first one and tell me what's the subject, what's, what's the past participle or the present perfect and then the direct object. 
Sorry, teacher. Can you repeat? I have a uh, problem connections. Oh, okay. Please read the sentence and then tell us the parts in this sentence. Parts. Parts. Mm -hmm. Okay. She has written a letter. Mm -hmm. um, she is. Subject. Is the subject mm -hmm. has verb and uh, writing a letter is the complement? Uh, no, in this case, it has written. Has, has written, written, so has is an auxiliary verb, and written is a past participle verb form of the main verb, right? So it will be has okay. written the main verb, right? Has written, and then a letter is a complement. The direct object, okay? Uh -huh. Ahorita el complement sería todo lo que va después del verbo o de la forma verbal. Pero en este caso hay solo un objeto, ¿verdad? Mm, puede ser, she has written a letter to his boyfriend, right? I'm sorry, to her boyfriend. Entonces, todo eso sería el complemento, sí. Y no habría ningún problema y lo identificaríamos. Pero en este caso, lo que va después de él... Verbo, eso es el objeto directo, es lo que está recibiendo la acción del verbo. Entonces, ese es el direct object. Entonces, a letter es el direct object. Si esto lo queremos pasar a passive voice, este que es el direct object se convertiría en nuestro nuevo subject. ¿Cómo quedaría en la passive voice esta? Escribamos acá. Uh -huh. A letter. Has been writing. Then written. By her. Written. written. Uh -huh. If you say writing, then you're saying a different form, like writing, right? Writing is ing perform. So, and this is written. 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 Unimos written. la T con la N, desaparecemos la E cuando la pronunciamos. Written. Written. Okay. okay. A letter written. has been written. There you go. Written. O oh, como el otro verbo este, miren. Tendemos a decir eating. Y no es eating. Es eaten. Eaten. Mm -hmm. Ajá. Written. Eaten. Es la misma forma de pronunciar. Ok, vamos a ver en esta. A ver, Lore, please read the sentence and tell us what part of the sentence we have there. Ok, they have paint the walls. They is a subject. How is the auxiliar? Paint is the uh, participle verb. Yes. And the walls is the complement. Is the uh, direct object. Direct okay. object. Direct object. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in the passive voice, voice, this will be the walls will be the new subject, right? Mm -hmm. The walls like this. Mm hmm has been uh, because it's plural we use have, uh, have. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. have been paint painted painted okay then. yeah and that's a uh, up to you to write the by or the author also right so by them there you go hmm? yes aquí le podríamos poner by her también ¿sí? By her. Pero a veces no es importante quién lo hizo, ¿verdad? Ok, vamos a ver la siguiente. Um, Nelson, please read the sentence and divide the parts. Ok. People have spoken English as a universal second language. Mm -hmm. People is a subject. As it is an auxiliary. Spoken is a verb, main verb in past participle. And then English as a universal second language is a direct object. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In this case, only English is the direct object. Okay. Oh. Uh -huh. Ahí, si lo queremos cambiar, if we want to transform it into the passive voice, I will say English has been spoken. Okay. As a universal second language by people, right? 
so people. we can divide that. Mm -hmm. This by is what we were saying. Or by they. By them, by them. Mm -hmm. okay. By them, by people, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, now, um, Glenda, please read the next one, this one. How to plan a new route of evacuation for the new building. Mm -hmm. the, the subject is you. Mm -hmm. The bird is planning. Mm -hmm. um, the complement a new route of evacuation. Very good. Hasta ahí sería el direct object. A new route of evacu evacuation. And then for the new building. So we can convert this or we can, we can transform it like a new route of evacuation has been planned for the new building by you. Okay, so mm -hmm. yeah, something like this. Okay, people, I hope everything is okay so far. And I want to take you to another one, to another exercise. Allow me to go right here. I don't know the way where I'm sharing this thing. Am I sharing this in a different way? Oops. Oh, here it is. <laughs> okay, let's go and check this other one. Ah, actually we want just to see the uh, uh, the object pronouns, okay? The object pronouns. These are the object pronouns. We transform the pronoun that receives the action of the verb. It won't be the subject pronoun anymore, okay? So it becomes in an object pronoun because they become direct object of the sentence. So for I, it's me. For you, you. For he, him. She, her. It. It, we, us, you, you, they, them, okay? These are the object pronouns, object pronouns. And what are the, uh, the structures? For the active voice, subject, the auxiliary verb, the past participle, and then the object. For the passive voice, we have the object and the has and, or have with a been, the, it is a be in the past participle form, then the past participle of the main verb, and then, this is uh, in parentheses because it's optional, okay? This is optional. If you want to um, say who the doer is, then you write by someone, someone, okay? There we go. And the last thing, I want to take you to the other. Ah, there was a quiz that I was, okay, maybe I have it in this other thing. Yes, here it is. Almost there, guys. Okay, this one is easy. Yeah. 
Yo creo que sí tiene que agarrar aquí. Vamos. Este es bien fácil porque solo es de agregar el parcel. No lo agarró, ¿verdad? No lo agarra. Hoy sí. No. no. Una imagen se mandó. Ay, qué Dios. Vamos a ver. Hoy sí. Ahí sí, ahí está. Okay, you scroll down and go to the quiz. There is a quiz. We have a, around 10 uh, different uh, sentences and we want to complete the sentences by clicking on the phrase that fulfill it, right? So to fill this up, we read number one. Number one, despite the transgression, his reputation mm -hmm. Si ¿Sí llegaron hasta ahí? Se van hasta abajo, okay? Se van hasta abajo y ahí está el quiz. Okay. Mm -hmm. no. mm -hmm. You scroll down. Mm -hmm. You got it? And question. You got the number one already? Number one. We got the number one. Yeah. They have not been tracked in Mm-hmm. Despite the transgression, his reputation hasn't been harmed. Jóvenes, si lo encontraron, denme el feedback que si están ahí en el sitio. Sí, teacher. Ok. Entonces, en la número uno, en number one, ¿qué pusieron? Has not been harmed. Ok. Now, in number two, we have to decide or to tell if the sentence or the question is correct or it isn't. So, we have to read old the options we've got there. Mm -hmm. Has he been has he been found by her? And number two, has that been harmed? 
Okay. Yes, number one is has not been harmed. Yes, and what about number two? It has the minister strip been postponed? Has he been formed by her? Empieza a pensar que no tenemos las mismas preguntas. Así creo yo, fíjense. Creo que el orden está diferente. Es aleatorio. Sí. Quiero hacer una prueba. Ok, yes. Uh, ella está, Lorena está en, en mi número 7. ¿Cuál es el número de ustedes? Has she phone him? Sí, Has she es, phone him? Es, es aleatorio cada vez que uno ingresa. <risa> es Has interesante. Ok. Para no trampa. Ajá. En mi caso. <risa> lo bonito es que le va dando de un solo la, la, la respuesta, ¿verdad? Si lo hizo bien o no. Ok, bien, ya son las 10 de la noche, chicos. Así que eh, creo mm -hmm. que eh, hemos tratado de cubrir el tema. Eh, muchas veces esto de la gramática es mucho más fácil haciéndolo que... Eh, en teoría, ¿verdad? En teoría se nos quedan los conceptos y mañana, hoy y mañana ya no los tenemos. Entonces no es como en la práctica, ¿verdad? Así que les recomiendo que terminen ese y también que hagan la tarea. En la tarea igual tienen que hacer clic en la opción que mejor llena, eh, completa la oración. Bueno, voy a tomar la asistencia. I will call the roll, so please everybody. Remember that you have to turn your camera on. Okay. You have to turn your camera on. And when I call your name, you say present. Hmm? Hasta este momento, eh, ¿hay alguna pregunta antes de tomar la asistencia? ¿Hay alguna pregunta de lo que hemos visto? No, teacher. No. No, teacher. No, teacher. Ok. Mm. Dice, comienzo a sospechar. Dice José Miguel, me llegó la frase. Comienzo a sospechar. <ríe> Bien político, don José Miguel, me llegó. <ríe> Sí, raro, yes, it was, yeah, it was strange. I didn't know that this gives a different order every time. Okay. Y yo voy a decirle, está malo, está malo. Dice, no, si está bueno, si está bueno. Ok, vamos. Ana Lorena Lovato Arellana. Present. Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martínez. Present, teacher. Ok. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Present. Ok. Carlos Eduardo Torres Durán. Present. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Present, teacher. Cristina Edith Ramos Ríos. Present, teacher. Ok, thank you. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present, teacher. Ok, thank you, Edwin. Eulice Torres Torres. Is there anyone who knows about Eulise, guys? No, I haven't had any any report or something. Fatima Noemi Umaña Castro. Glenda Josefina Toledo Leiva. Yes, Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. I'm here. Ok, Josman Atilio Serrano. Present. Karen Lisset Sánchez Castro. Nancy Margarita Morán Morán. Present. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Present. Pero todo frisado. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Present. Ok, thank you. I'm sorry. 
Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Yes, I'm teacher. Okay, Raúl Ernesto González. I'm here. Okay, Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores. Present. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present teacher. Okay, Sorry. Jose Miguel Torres Hernández. Present teacher. Okay, Wilber, I double checked the list and, the, and my great reports. And you're everything okay. You, you, your progress is completed. Okay, so no problem. There you are. And, okay. uh -huh, solo tengo algunos que sí, de, necesito que por favor vayan adelantando ya porque es necesario ir finalizando, ¿verdad? Eh, acordémonos que este viernes ustedes tienen que cancelar todos sus... Eh, situaciones que hayan programado para viernes y los necesito acá. Es obligatorio que estemos para que podamos completar, ya saben, nuestra eh, satisfaction survey. Y es, eh, se hace todos juntos por dos razones. La primera es porque debe ir sin errores. Y la segunda es porque todas deben ir juntas. ¿okay? Todas las eh, confirmaciones deben ir juntas. Por eso es que lo hacemos todos juntos y es obligatorio. ¿okay? Así que por favor cancelen todo lo que hayan programado para el viernes. Más que ni me invitaron. Ah, no, son bromas. Este, <ríe> no, eh, el viernes necesito que estemos acá, ¿ok? Todos juntos. Y la última cosa, la sesión uno a uno le tocaría, a, en todo caso, a Blanca Jennifer. Blanca Jennifer quisiera quedarse el día de hoy. Oh, okay, there you are. Okay, people, see you tomorrow. Please do your homework, work in advance to in the platform. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Teacher, solo una consulta. Sí, mi Carlos Alberto. Eh, no sé si puede compartir los links en, en WhatsApp para practicarlos. Lo, los links que acabo de pasar por acá, por el, por el chat, que costó, ¿verdad? Costó sí. que los agarrara el Zoom. Bueno, ya se los voy a pasar por ah, ahí. Ah, porque en el, en el último tuve problemas para ingresar. Sí, tiene razón. Ajá. Ahí ahorita los paso. Oye. Vaya, teacher, gracias. Uh -huh. Vaya, con gusto. Uh, good evening. Good, good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Mm -hmm. There you are. Hello, Blanca. How are oh, you hello. doing tonight? Uh, un poquito enferma. Oh, really? Oh, God. You're, no, you're from... La, de la garganta. Oh, my God. Gripe y todo. Híjole. Pero le, le, ya fue al médico y todo. Sí, estoy tomando medicamento. ¿Me dieron incapacidad? No, no me dieron. Qué bárbaro eso, qué bárbaro. No, no es posible. No, no, no me dieron. Ay, que lo siento. Solo, la, solo el medicamento. Imagínese. Ajá. Primeramente Dios ya se va a poner mejor. Hay que tomar sí, mucho vale. té, mucha agua, mucha sopa. ¿Verdad? Sí. Uh -huh. Va a reponerse. Sí, porque se, si se complica, pues ya sabe usted que puede llegar ahora. Ahora es bien fácil llegar a una neumonía. Entonces hay que sí. tener cuidado, más si tiene niños en casa, ¿verdad? Sí, uh -huh. tengo niños. Ay, mi muchachito, ha de estar triste, ha de estar triste sí. que su mami esté enferma. Ok, Blanca Jennifer, ¿tiene alguna pregunta en la que yo le pueda asistir? Mm. Sí, se queda en la plataforma. Una parte, las, este, que se quedan, you tell me, no me funcionaron. Las probé de diferentes formas, pero no, no me funcionó ninguna. Solo esa parte dejé que no, no la contesté porque no, no me funcionó. No sé si alguna letra, como a veces con un punto o algo que esté malo, uh -huh. no, lo, no lo aceptan. Siempre llegué al porcentaje, sí. pero sí me quedó la duda de que porque no me aceptó ninguna. Y quisiera compartir usted la, la, la pantalla. 
fíjese que me cuesta entrar como estoy con el teléfono aquí con la okay. videollamada este tarda bastante cargando una plataforma ok ahorita yo la busco sería mm. como la tres punto eran las answer questions verdad tres Tres punto tres creo que es, ¿verdad? Can you tell me if? Estas todas van con if, ¿verdad? Ajá, es que me acordé de la clase. Ajá. Otra vez con if y con if, pero siempre me daba. Siempre le daba Entonces, problemas. No sé qué fue el error. El Yo orden de las palabras. Final, Ajá. Y siempre me lo dio negativo. Oh. Ninguna me aceptó. Oh, bueno, ahorita revisamos. Vaya, mire, para estas que son preguntas indirectas, vamos a utilizar eh, la forma o la estructura, digamos, de estas se convierten en eh, afirmativo, ya no como una pregunta. Entonces sería, can you, can you tell me, can you tell me if she... Y tenemos que conjugar el verbo a la tercera persona. Play. Tenis. Ajá, sí la puse también. Okay. Y, nada. y nada. Y nada, no. Ah, lo que pasa es que ah, acá. Pero ahí el fin de pregunta ya Exactamente. No, ya no, no, ¿cómo, no? Entonces, ¿cómo no? ¿Cómo no? Sí ¿Cómo no? Sí, 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 sí va. Porque uh -huh. sí se lo puse también. Uh -huh. Y ni así le, le salió. No. no, no me lo aceptó. Espérame, voy a hacer una cosa aquí para compartirlo de mejor manera. Ok. Ajá. No, pero en este caso sí llevan, llevan, eh, permítame porque ahorita ya yo. Ay, ¿qué número era? 3.9. Punto... Ay, me fui hasta la 2. Vamos a ver entonces. Voy de regreso. No, no entro. Yo creo que me he frisado. Voy a cerrar algunas ventanas. Pero voy a volver a intentar entonces. Tal vez no me cargaba bien ese día porque sí las probé. Sí, porque yo ahorita estoy problema, con el problema. Ok, ahora sí ya llegué. Ya llegué de regreso, pero me borro todo. Vamos a ver aquí. Bye. Entonces tenemos, can you tell me, ¿verdad? Can you tell me if she plays a tennis? Vamos a ver. Does he live in Paris? Ahí tendría que ser otra vez. Can you tell me if he lives in Paris? Okay, then is she hungry? Sería, can you tell me if she is hungry? Okay, then uh, can you tell me if uh, you like English? English. A ver, no, a ver, ojalá que salgan bien. Veo que también me corre un espacio, ¿verdad? Me, ahí está. Can you tell me if they 
ver. Y veamos. Ahí está. Entonces, yo creo que el signo de interrogación tal vez podría ser, quizás le da punto y signo. Ajá. O sea que lo que hay que hacer es conjugar el verbo de acuerdo al, al sujeto, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, en este es work, entonces se queda work porque es they. Ajá. Pero en el que es he y en el que es she, hay que agregarle la S al verbo. Mire, lives and plays. Bueno, uh -huh. Voy a probar otra vez entonces, a ver si me lo acepta. Sí, cabal, y cualquier cosa me dice, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. lo, que, lo que haga cuando, si le da algún problema, mándeme el screenshot de la parte que le está dando el problema. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Para poder identificar, bueno, por ejemplo, ahí teníamos un, un espacio antes de quién, ¿verdad? Entonces, a veces no nos fijamos si se va, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. ¿Qué es el espacio? De voy a probar entonces. Está bien, Blanca, y, y solo esa le falta. Sí, solo eso me quedó. Ok. Uh -huh. Y esas serían todas sus preguntas. Por el momento, sí. Ok. Siempre sepa pues que estoy aquí para apoyarla y cualquier cosa usted me puede decir por el WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Mire, teacher, esto y esto y esto. Yo con gusto le doy el apoyo. Oye. Gracias, teacher. Ok, espero que se recupere pronto. Primero Dios. Primeramente Dios. Si no se ande mojando. No. <ríe> Ni modo, vean, nos toca en la mañana. ¿Cómo hacemos? Vean, nos toca salir sí. bajo la lluvia. Por eso nos enfermamos, vean. Bueno, pues. Eh, then see you tomorrow. Right? See you tomorrow. Ok, have a very good night. Bye.